Hey everyone, this is Manshark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, and this is Stellaris. We are the Panuri Collective, and we've still got a bit of a situation on our heads, galactically speaking. Uh, to this side of our empire, we've got the Hafkam Mercantile Guilds and a little bit of the Tepran Trading Coalition. Over here, we've got the Fribilov Progenitors. And in here, we've got some Dorblon Enterprise and Regime of Yim and more Hafkam Mercantile Guilds residents. Um, just to recap, the main issue is that the Tempest Shoal is loose of the galaxy, as you'd expect from up here. And they are destroying everything, though this stuff here is mainly mining stuff that nobody's cleared out for some reason. And of course the Husko Braves, again, that nobody's cleared out for some reason. Um, what was the void spawn? What did that look like? Oh yeah, okay, it's basically just another effort Drake looking thing. Anyway. Um, we are fortifying Skeptrum with the aim that we will also fortify Coggan, take the demons more, and that is our ingress point to Terminal Egress, where we will attempt to <sighs> remove the menace to the galaxy. We have fleets being reinforced. Um, Let's just go down the list here and see if there's anything that needs immediate fixing. Check our rare resources, those seem pretty fine, so I'm fine upgrading that and that. Uh, also, you guys could really do with... Uh, we've got plenty of resources, I guess. 48 and 32. Let's give them some more give them a lot more alloy production facilities I think. Is it mining drones produce minerals, scrap miner drones produce minerals and alloys but we don't have any scrap miners. And over here we've got foundry drones turn minerals into alloys. And that should be fine because it's two for two so districts are two housing for two jobs so districts are like internally consistent for industrial districts, generator districts, mining districts, and agriculture districts are not. Um, yeah, I think we'll sit at that. I will give them a resource processing center. And what else? Alloy foundries. And a chemical plant. Two chemical plants, maybe. What else can I give these little bastards? Seems pretty good so far. Might as well give them a synaptic node. Synaptic nodes also produce housing, so that's cool. And I guess one of those. And let's finish it off with, I mean, I guess a planetary shield generator. Why not? Okay, what are you lads doing? A lot more mining drones could be put here. Oh, gas extraction wells, good. We can get two of those, actually. Do they have... Wow, well, they actually have a lot of good features. Like, a lot of good features. Mining districts, generator districts, tree of life, of course. Dense ruins provide great research jobs, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, the industrial sector means we can have two of each mine basically that's really cool this is a great place actually um another crystal mine let's get rid of <sighs> get rid of the mineral purification hub and replace that with Do we have a mode harvesting trap ready? Yep. Yeah. That's cool. Good spot, actually. Alright, let's just try and finish these guys off. So, yeah, sure, whatever. Only have a tree of life sapling. Yep, that's fine. What do you guys do? It looks like you make a lot of alloys for me, which is nice. Alloys are good. But it looks like you're already set up for that purpose with the resource processing center 
at the alloy nano plant. A little bit of deviancy, so you know what? Well, let's put down a uh, sentinel post. And a lot more housing with jobs available. So we could probably swap these housing rolls out. In fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. Replace it with some industrial districts. Three of them. Do have any synapse drones? You don't. Oh, might as well give me an N. No, we've got tons of energy grids. Food is not an issue. Let's go exotic gas refineries. Why not? So we can use an upgrade. And probably one of those as well. So energy production facility. That's kind of not really very required at this day and age, if you know what I mean. So let's change these to industrial districts. And then give them a... Oh, we can't build those yet? Oh yeah, they don't have enough... Um... This needs to be upgraded first. That's fine. The reason why I'm doing all of these now is so that one, I remember them. And two, we basically get them all sorted. Okay, we could use more stuff here. Uh, let's say... One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Just all industrial districts. Which means you get a resource processing center. I think are you good for... What else do you have? Crystalline caverns? We've already used that though, right? Yeah, crystal. We haven't actually. Where is it? There it is. Um, let's put down a chemical plant. I don't know where it is. Put down a planetary shield generator. Why not? And why don't we put down a few strongholds in a synaptic node? Yeah, why not? Okay, this one here, how we doing? Plenty of jobs available. We're 31 for 31 at the moment. Um, so we're actually going to build another hive district. Just because that'll increase the number of positions. Because we actually do need them. A resource processing center. Really big on getting these alloys in now. Okay, I think we want a chemical plant. Planetary shield generator, why not? It's probably completely unnecessary. Might as well grab a supercomputer while we're at it. What's happening here? We've got unemployed people here, so let's just upgrade these. And upgrade the habitat. So here as well could use an upgraded habitat. Looks like there's plenty of positions available. What do you do? No, I don't want you making... Ah. I don't much care for them making uh, energy. It's not important at this point in time. Alloys are where it's at. Which is a bit annoying considering, you know, everything. These guys need a sentinel post. And we'll also give them... What else can we give these guys? A chemical plant. And I guess a shield generator. Why not? You guys have unemployment. It's upgraded into a habitat world then. And yeah, that's unnecessary, so let's replace that with that. Okay, um, we have just done a little bit of restructuring there. That's nice. Uh, what's happening down here? Uh, Yalbarista can use a new thing here. Command center, I think, is what we give them. But they are building a whole ton of defensive platforms. Is it all of the defensive platforms? It's all of the defensive platforms. Good. Uh, let me just check where our fleets are. Oh, also, Skeptrum. 
Oh yeah, we were just straight up upgrading it as hard as possible. So Hisnax Armada is up there, Galifor's Armada is defending Skeptrum, Olimax Armada is reinforcing. Ahab is coming around to deal with some piracy. Ralpican's Armada is holding up stuff. And the 17th Armada is a uh, gathering force, I believe. Okay, I said they were gathering force, turns out they're being weird about it. I thought you built the Titan. God damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna hit the button and see what happens. Okay, let's up it to fast. Oh, and of course we've got construction ships all over the place. Let's make sure that they're not doing nothing. Okay, he's fine where he is. We were also upgrading this one. Yeah, we were. Oh, Galifors. Not Galifors, I'm looking at construction ships. That's fine. Is that fine? Oh yeah, we were waiting on influence for... We're really influence shy. We're short at the moment. Unfortunately. Because of this expansion. It is, as they say, all good. We don't need to see those particular things on the outlier, outliner. Yeah, there's no nanobot fleets here unless they're hiding in the nebula, which they probably aren't. Despite there being two L gates, so I'm kind of happy with that. Um, obviously, there's a force right here. Construction Just complete. Gonna do some devastating bullshit. Okay, what's Hark? Ah, right. So Hark is up here. It's a sort of our defensive line there. This one could be upgraded slowly. No need to rush. But it does need to be actually upgraded. And this one here, Ophel, was going to be our shipyard based one. So I think crew gestation chambers and the upgrade. Construction complete. Veldoram, is that this one? Yep. So where can we move you to? So successfully locked off core. That's nice. Um, not really anything else in this area that we haven't already locked off. But what we'll do is I'll send him to Quebus. But we won't build anything yet because again we're trying to hold on to our influence for this stuff down here first. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. That's gonna take forever to build. God damn it. Okay, we got more energy weapon attack speed and more lifespan. Um Sure. Construction complete. Ah, very nice. So this one finished its stuff. So we'll give it the command center. And we're also going to give it a ton of defenses. So we need one, two. Beautiful, we still have 10k alloys left, which we will uh, just get a few more of while we think about it. Neat. Has Ahab arrived yet? No, he's on his way. Okay, they completed that one, so let's see if we can build down here. 
Okay. I need this fleet to come back. I think. Because the 17th Armada is not ready. And neither is Olimac. So we've got Galifor, Ralpakin, and Hisnak. If we lose this section, we lose this section. We'll probably keep this outpost at least because it's defensive as all hell. But yeah, this fleet needs to be recalled. Um, so if I were to recall him back to here, oh, that's actually a really short journey. Nice, because we've got open borders with these guys, so we will actually be able to come back very nicely. Yeah, that's actually way quicker than I thought it was going to be. Because I can get them to lock down Coggan. Oh, we had one jump through for a second and then vanish back. So... What are you doing? I need to make a specialist fleet. It's going to be really annoying because I'm going to already be over my cap. My naval cap, but I feel that we've got more than enough incomes of various things to deal with that. Um, can I get you to come up here and start building more stations? Thank you. You're not needed in this area at the moment. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Oh, good on them. More armor. Construction complete. Very good. And now move on down to Coggan. Oh, is Olimax Armada intact? Olimax Armada is intact. Cool. It only took them like 20 years. Um, we don't really need to put them there because these guys should be able to handle anything that comes south. Unless they come south. So I guess we'll move them to Upstoff and we'll move... Raupkin's Armada this way. I'm really trying to consolidate forces. And once this shipyard gets nicely built, I think we're going to be looking at uh, that 7th fleet. Construction complete. Because unfortunately Ahab counts as a uh, fleet. Okay. Oh, we were just building naval stuff? Yeah, sure, that's easy enough. Um, not much to put in here. We've already got the Black Hole Observatory and the Naval Logistics Office. So let's put in resource silos, I guess. And the upgrade won't matter for that one. So I'm hoping by just locking this one off we don't spawn the attack wave. I'm hoping the attack wave doesn't actually happen. This time I'm going to be fucking ready for it. Hopefully. Um, but we're also trying to lock these guys off as well. Though... I'm not terribly worried about Dorbalon doing anything. Dorbalon has been reduced to a... Tiny... Tiny like element this is basically where they are now a few interspersed systems oh, what happened here what are you you're a cruiser Pulner class cruiser do you guys need a Pulner class cruiser you do get down there oh what path are you taking as he's coming up here, gatewaying out to here, and then wormholing back down to there. Look, if he wants to do that, he can. No objections. We are actually at our starbase limit. That's not brilliant. 
and Skeptrum has finished upgrading a little bit so let's just make sure it's properly upgraded very good what do we have that we can get rid of okay they're upgrading properly okay Hanuri there Alderaan I like this wall of steel so I'm kind of keeping it that one's important that one's important that one's important yeah that one's very important important eh, kind of important but it won't be eventually you know one which actually isn't that important is probably Eol although it's doing anchorages for us so that is important now this one here at Elnath, however, I'm going to downgrade it. So it becomes nothing now, which is absolutely fine. Construction complete. Okay, Coggan has been settled. Oh, now we've got an extra one because we tipped over a balance point there. Um, okay, well, while you're doing nothing, just build mining stations, I guess. Construction complete. Good. Uh, same up here. Construction complete. You. No, not you. You, which is his snacks armada, move towards Skeptrum. Ahab, on the other hand, gets to continue dealing with piracy. What was this one? Okay, finished building those, that's cool. Yep. Alright, so additional influences on these guys at the moment. Um, so yeah, build a starbase there. Okay, scientific revolution stopped, so let's up it again. This is all fine. Construction complete. Good. Uh, upgrade. I need you to come down to this one. Thank you. Construction complete. Let's check Fleet Manager, 17th Armada. Yep, they're still making the Titan at Jianfar. They're making everything at Jianfar. Titan Battleship, Free Cruisers, a Destroyer, and a Corvette. Free cru I think they fucked up at some point. Um, let's just delete this particular fleet. I don't think that's important. And what construction just finished? The research station at Hark. Lovely. What are these idiots voting on? Yeah, repeal that. What was the Guardian Angels Act? Yeah. I'm fine for repealing that, actually. Because it'll give me more diplomatic power if we repeal it. Construction complete. Ah, yep, up here. Lovely. Some mining stations in. We'll try and get Trebur and Orkham Fung. Just to make sure that people are locked out of places.
Oh, I have the game paused, of course. Construction complete. Break. That's this one here. Yeah, it looks good. Um, probably need an upgrade to Citadel. Construction complete. Mining station at Coggan. Yep. Uh, get the fuck out of there for the moment. We'll do all these mining stations, and by that time, we might have. The 17th Armada might be together. However. Okay. We need to do a little bit of fiddling around. So, I've got my list of ships back here somewhere. As I fumble with the old pen and paper. There we go. So, looking at our ships, we've got our lovely corvettes. Our corvettes are pickets, which is basically as close as you can get, if I remember right. Oh no, Swarm is as close as you can get. That's nice. Okay. We're going to make some new ship designs, and it's purely going to be for this one um, fleet. So we're going to need a corvette. This corvette is going to be using the Swarm. Um, intelligence, sensors are fine, engines are fine, that's all fine. Um, section... Probably interceptors. I don't really think that... Yeah, I think interceptors are good. And what can we give them here? So, the nanobots have a fairly average mix of um, shields. Let's just check on that. So we can't see for sure. But like, we can't uh, assess their individual... Like, we have no intel, basically, on these guys, because you can't get it. But if you look at their hull points, they've got about 26,000 hull points for this uh, Mothership class. 6,700 armor, 7,500 shields. And... Are you going to let me... I don't think it's going to let me save the interdictors. Can we find an interdictor by itself? Ah, here we are. Good. Uh, yeah, so 2,600 hull points and 1,900 armor and shield. So a pretty even match. Call it 50-50. So there is a bit of a benefit in getting additional damage in terms of um, what things do damage against. But not a great, not a great benefit. The, I would also almost say that one of the best things to do would be to to be just phase disruptions but let's have a bit of a better look here so gamma lasers not good against shields good against armor plasma cannons not good against shields good against armor and hull phase disruptors just blow straight through it and do a fairly random amount of damage gauss cannons good against shields not armor and hull storm fire yeah whatever energy siphons do a pretty good against shields not very good against armor However, the damage of almost everything is like... Ah. I'm almost thinking Stormfire Auto Cannons. Because they do an average of 7.5 damage, right? Per time period. So, against armor, they'll do... Let's round it up to 8, make it easier. So they'll do about 2 points against armor. Um, say... 10 points against hull and 12 points against shields whereas a phase disruptor will just do two and a half points to hull no matter what so let's see say over 10 time periods uh no make it easier say nine time periods uh, first for your shields next for your armor next for your hull we will do what i say 12 points to shield, so 12 by 3 is 36, 2 by 3 is 6, so that's 42, and then 10 by 3 is 30, so it's going to be 30, 30 points of hull damage over 9 points, that's what we're looking at here. There's a much easier way to calculate that, but we didn't do it. This one, however, does 2.5 damage times 9. 
so you're looking at about 24 25 something like that so the stormfire auto cannon is better in that regard assuming it gets through the shields and armor it may not however we're gonna have other things for that so auto cannons um, we'll deal with that one later I'm gonna say we don't know what weaponry they use so I guess a mixed bag is probably best so more hull points more armor more shielding as for this we're fine on power so we don't need the reactor booster um, chance to hit do we have that listed anywhere nope shield capacity gives us an extra 10 percent shield that's honestly not that amazing advanced afterburners put our evasion up if we're already at 90 can we get it higher no oh it's a reactor booster my bad no but we can get the speed up and of course regenerative hull tissue regenerative hull tissue doesn't really matter to us um, okay so we can't call it the drama because that's already a ship type we'll call it the Rukamar so Rukamar and we're gonna call this the anti nanobot uh, close so the whole point of this is this is our first fleet through the um, through the portal uh, ship designer thank you that's what I want okay let's have a look for destroyers so destroyers have picket line and artillery we want picket and what's the best thing we've got here probably gunship bow and interceptor stern and again we'll load them up with stormfire auto cannons and maybe the because the stormfire auto cannons will strip the shields and then we could use the medium plasma cannon to blast a little bit more in close range um, and we'll go two shields two hull two armor and for this speed is 249 I feel like evasion is only 53 it actually reduces its total damage which is a bit weird adding the auxiliary fire control makes it a little bit slower shields I don't think shields are gonna matter we'll put the afterburners on it and we'll call this the Balthun save okay next cruises okay let's have a look at what we've got here we've got picket line artillery and carrier it's going to be picket um, and I guess broadside um, broadside and maybe gunship now nah, we'll go broadside on the mm. Now we'll go gunship on there and missile there. That'll probably be better. Fill it with storm fires. Then for the medium slots, we'll put down more plasma cannons. And for this one, so they all have 100% shield penetration. Let's think about this. So Marauder missiles do 14.7. They're pretty decent stats. Well, when missiles do not have any evasion, which is a bit weird, and have 100% shield penetration and only do 10, and devastator torpedoes do amazing against armor and get through shields immediately. I think Marauder missiles are probably best. 
Um, let's see. Some shields. Some armor. Some additional hull. And as for in here, I would like them to be fast. How much more speed does it give us? A fair amount, actually. But... If we up the shield capacitors, that actually does a lot better. So we'll take afterburners and those. And we'll call these the Kermel. Save. Alright, next on the list, battleships. Line, artillery, and carrier. So I guess line it is. Which means that these are going to be... Ooh. I mean, I do kind of want to put a spinal in. Because these are amazing. I haven't been focusing on range, but I don't think that really matters. Um, did our other ships... Did our other battleships have spinal mounts? I don't remember. Oh yeah, we put the Tachyon Lance on the uh, Gamalbans. <laughs> Good times. So I think for this one... We'll probably go broadside. And... Car no, carry is a bit weird, isn't it? Ah, carrier. We'll put carrier down. And broadside. So, storm fires in the small slots. Medium slots get plasma cannons. A large slot. Ooh. I feel like neutron launchers are pretty good. Yeah, I'll put neutron launchers in the uh, broadside. Point can be... I think Guardian Point Defense is actually better. Yeah. And Advanced Strike Craft and Hangers, because of course. Hyper Shields, Neutronium Armor, Crystal Infused Hull Plates. And they definitely need a bit more speed, so let's give them a bit more speed. Yeah, it should do. And we'll call this the Kutma. Save. And I think that's it, because we can't make another Titan. So, alright. Fleet Manager, create new fleet. Its home base is... The Ophel. Of the Ophel shipyard. Okay, so we're going to want a few of these. Um, so we want the Kutmas, the Kamels, the Betunts, Belfins. Oh, well, I guess that's that one. I must have mis miswrote it. And the Rukamar. Okay, so those are our ship types. Ten of them. Ten of them. Ten of them. And at least ten of them. Probably up this one to more like 30 of these guys. These two there. I think that's reasonable. Um, sure. So they should have started to make them here, and they have. That's going to put us above our limit, but whatever. The whole point of that is it's a sacrificial fleet. It's there to engage these fleets here. The spirits have granted ones. us new wisdom. While our other fleets come through and actually deal the damage. Additionally, back at... Um, get out of there. Back at uh, Demon's Moor itself. We can have it sit on the Elgate while the other fleets sit at the like actual points. 
so that their artillery can be brought to bear properly. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. What the hell? One second. What's going on to these fleets again? So, 17th Armada is here. We have a battleship, a Tamath class battleship. You don't need a Tamath. Oh man, they fucked up their uh, distribution. Okay, well, let's delete that. Um, the 17th Armada, are you actually building fleets? You are. Okay, we're just going to have to let that go and see what happens. But I feel like we're going to be fixing bullshit. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Should buy some more of these. Sell some of these. Sell some of these. Sell consumer goods, of course. We have literally no need for them. And buy more allies. Construction complete. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Uh, yeah, come down to this one and colonize it. Thank you very much. And what was the other one? A Coggan star base. Ah, yes, upgrade it. Okay, we've got a Tempest Shell coming through. It is headed towards Coggan. No, it's not. Complete. Now it's headed back. Very cool of it. Uh, you guys could use not just the upgrade, I actually want another shipyard and then anchorage. And this should be battle simulators and an upgrade. Okay, they went back through. Yep, good, we repealed the sanctions. This one finished its construction, that's very nice. Why do these guys have a hangar bay and you don't need that? Um, replace it with an anchorage, thank you. You too. Weird. Oh yeah, look at this, this is a clusterfuck all of a sudden. Construction complete. Got a whole bunch of ships that don't know where they're supposed to go. Yeah, Miss Armada down here is uh, experiencing technical issues. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's fucking handle that, I guess. So for 17th Armada, can I actually delete those? No, they're going to sit there clogging everything up for years. Very cool. 17th Armada has too many of a particular kind of ship. I think it has too many battleships. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's got... It's supposed to only have four to maths, if I'm right. Yeah. It's 10, 11, 7, 7, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 1. 10, 11, 7, 7, 4, 4. Yeah, okay. One too many to maths. So we've got to come in here, find a Tamath class battleship. This one here, that'll do. Get rid of it. God damn it. Fleet manager here. Okay, that looks fine. Okay. Construction complete. 
I don't know why they're... Yeah, it's 1, 12, 14, 11, 10. 1, 12, 14, 11. Construction complete. Maybe something's on the way? Seems a bit weird. Alright, what's happening here? Mining station got completed up there in Hark. Cool, you can come down to this one and build another mining station there. And a star base got built there. Okay. Um, we don't need to re-up Living Metal Mega Construction. We actually can't. We don't have enough um, dudes. So that's fine. We should probably stop capacity subsidies. That's not terribly important. Construction complete. And we could introduce forge subsidies as well. Oh, that would be amazing. We would need to have enough influence for that, however. And look, we're above our cap. Okay, they are constructing, but as usual, it's a clusterfuck. Construction complete. Okay, it looks like these guys are forming up. Construction so, complete. I'm happy to leave them for the moment. Bistrama, Bistrama, Bistrama. It's this one here. And the Conviab Starbase. This one out here. Yep, put down the command center. And some defenses. Beautiful. I don't want to activate that. Thing is, once we have taken demons more and the um, terminal egress, construction, we can complete. scrap a whole lot of these star bases. What do we got? Break. Yeah, you're looking alright there, Break. Put down a command center. Um, no defenses just yet, just because we don't have the uh, resources for it. Construction complete. Yep, very nice. Please head up to this one and grab that. Construction complete. The Eye of Baal. What? Oh yeah, you were converting to naval shit. Yeah. Construction complete. Okay, I think that was Cogum and something in a fell. Yep, lovely. What'd you do, Cogum? Ah, very nice. Upgrade, but also the guns, the missile batteries, the hangar bay. Um, that. That. And that. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Cool. It's a pirate fleet I don't care about. Okay. Yeah, I'd say you're gonna lose this area, buddy. Construction complete. Good. 
Uh, it's annoying. We'll take these guys out to deal with that piracy real quick. Not that there's a lot of it. Complete. But it's just good to get rid of it. Oh, that's what he finished doing. I'm not going to colonize most of this. I'm going to do the lock offs and that's it. Um, but I'm not going to spread, like, expand to this area until I know for sure that we've locked out Demons more and possibly also Terminal Egress. Construction complete. God, what are you all doing? Just. Yeah, that's actually a fine one. What are you all doing? Like, are you supposed to be going somewhere? 17th Armada is complete, by the way. Um, I am going to ship them... This way. They can lurk at... One of these places, I guess. Probably Karim. Also, they do need a leader. Let's recruit one. Sublight speed, evasion, sublight speed, fire rate. They'll get sublight speed plus 10, 10, and 20. Evasion 5, 5% there. Um, get the 15 year old, why not? And then they can come over here to Alderaan. Nice, okay, now. The seven farm Armada is having a little bit of an issue here. And they're not really forming up very well. I literally have no idea how this has happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell all these guys to converge on Afik, no matter how they get there. And when they get there, we'll sort it out. God damn it. Jeez, that's a weird path to take. Oh well, whatever works. I think it's not the easiest place to get to, unfortunately. Okay, that piracy is dealt with. Please get back to Upstoff. Yeah, it looks like they're all doing this dumb thing where they're not getting in the right spot. Very irritating, but, you know, just, we have to handle it. And I think, uh, not yet, because we need to get the defense group supercomputer before that clicks in and decides that it's doing what it wants complete. to. Yep, very nice. Also build the research station. Okay, we're voting on something. Repealing the Guardian Angels Act. Looks like everybody's in favor. Very nice. What are you doing? Literally nothing. Okay. Construction complete. These guys really need a better name. Um, so it's all obviously going to be Armada. Let's call it Hagonan's Armada because he's actually in control of it. Uh, okay, I need you to come down here to Orkham Fung and grab that one.
I'll say goodbye to this sector, guys. I'm still amazed that the one who opened the Old Gates, the Yorkok Citizen Alliance, still hasn't, like, gotten hit too badly by them. Like, they got hit by it, but not the worst. Construction like, by no complete. means. They're blowing up this world and, like, all that sort of thing. I'm sorry, what was that? Construction complete down here at Skeptrum. Very nice. Um, head up to this one and do the research stations. And also... Yeah, I guess more of that. Stormfire order cannons count as uh, kinetic weapons, so always a good thing. Now we've got a Tempest Shoal on the move here. Looks like they're headed down this way. This could be good for us. Could be an opportunity for an expansion. Sorry, I keep zooming out like horrifically. Yeah, you guys can get into position actually up here at Breek. Because I don't want to actually lose Breek. Not yet. Ah, ambitions started stopping. That's not that important anymore. This one is very important. Construction complete. Welcome fun, lovely. Put down a research facility. Yeah, actually, if this fleet could do the right thing, which it looks like it's doing to take out Escan, then it's going to try and come into Breek, which could probably hold it. It's worth 33, Breek's worth about 50. Okay, what the fuck is going on here now? Okay, you actually all gathered up. That's excellent. Uh, can you just merge? Why can't you merge? Shame ship class. Oh, because one's a transport fleet, of course. Yeah, okay, not looking too bad then. Yep, so take out Escan if you would. Where are you going? Construction complete. Okay, you can then come down this way to Karim. Okay, it's engaged for mining station. And there goes your actual outpost. Now where are you headed? Complete. I do hope they're on the way down to us actually, because then we can take them down. Um, okay, then for you... I mean, I wouldn't mind grabbing these guys. Alright, go for it, why not? Construction complete. Go and grab that one. Okay, are you coming down my way? You are coming down my way. Excellent. How close before you get into the system? Okay, so I don't actually want you to be... Well, I don't sure actually where I want them to be, but let's put them about there. That sounds pretty good. Incoming transmission. The Tebran Trading Coalition has offered a non-aggression pact to us. That's unusual. Um, decline. They've got way more important things on their plate than dealing with me. Uh, two more anchorages and a naval logistics office. And I think that should do it. They don't need Titan assembly yards or anything like that. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. All right, here are my boys. You still coming? Yeah, looks like they are. 
Heretic fleet engaged. All right, lads, take them down. Beautiful. Uh, any casualties? Doesn't look like it. Why do you say that you can be reinforced? You literally cannot be reinforced. Uh, repair fleet. Okay, let's have a quick look at that. Why is it saying that they can be reinforced? They're missing a battleship? They're missing a battleship. Hold up. Was it one of those? It was not one of those. What the hell is this? Whatever it is, I'm disbanding it. Okay. We've got a little bit of an opportunity here. Where we can actually take Tiblak and... How do you pronounce that? Hishmal. We're going to have to do that next time though. That would give us access to all of this stuff and the Ether Drake, which would be very nice actually. Um, however, we want to deal with the Elgates first because this area is fucking rife with Elgates. If we can, pushing through to Ionides and Deodum would be very good because then we can lock off a whole ton of stuff. In the meantime though, I've been Sub, you've been yourselves. Later.